uh, Robert, you can tell me, you know, elaborate maybe on, you know, steps people can take to, once they know they're missing, <laughs> what they can do to help in getting discovered or help, you know, getting back on the trail. Right. That, there's an entire kind of emotional sequence to mm. when somebody get, gets lost, at, at least if we're saying they have typ typical cognition. So we're talking about the, the missing hiker or hunter mm -hmm. uh, scenario. Uh, the first thing they usually do is make a mistake at a very specific spatial location, which we would call a, a decision point. But they don't recognize the mistake because if they did, they turn around and just step right back on the trail. They keep going whatever is the wrong direction because of terrain analysis. There's something that lulls them into thinking, well, this is the right way. Then eventually the subconscious mind is usually the first to pick up on the fact that something isn't quite right and it isn't matching up. Maybe the moon's on the wrong side if you've been turned around. <laughs> but uh, the, the mind is really good at tricking itself that it's right. Uh, so we call this a, a cognitive bias. So confirmation bias is one of the, the biggest biases. Mm -hmm. or a, another nickname for it is bending the map. Oh, that, that pond must have moved. Or it must have dried up. That, oh, that somebody explain, else's fault. Yeah. Explain it. <laughs> or I've seen people say, well, the compass isn't working. It must be defective. It's got to be pointing the wrong direction. No. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So people keep keep going until they finally just eventually admit that, oh my gosh, uh, that they're lost. And with that is going to come and it's a physiological response. There's nothing you can really do to prevent it. And that is, you know, you get the catecholamine dump or adrenaline rush, um, which is the same as almost a panic attack in a way. It's the same physiological thing going on. It's just not called a panic attack. And probably the best way to overcome that is just to sit down stop, think, observe, and, and plan. Uh, military pilots are, are taught once they get shot down, um, you know, gather up the parachute or you'll get dragged through the woods, but then sit down and pull out your, your water and, and drink some water. It, it's not like you're dehydrated, but it's just a, a simple reflex action uh, to calm yourself down and then actually, you know, think, observe, and, and come up with your, your plan of what you're going to do.